Yo, um, we downtown in Fairbanks. Uh, I just got a new camera, so I'm testing it out. And I don't have auto focus on this lens because it's a Canon lens, but we are going to try to take pictures and see what's happening. It is, what time is it? 2.28 a.m. And should I be back here? I don't know if I'm in focus back here or because I'm using my phone to look at the cam the back of the camera, the screen, but I think it's in focus. Okay, so hopefully the mic is good. I got my old mic from like 2015 and it's broke. I don't know if I'm in focus. Hopefully this is okay and usable, but yeah, we're going to go take pictures and I'll show you the process, I guess, of taking a night picture. So here we go. Okay, this clip actually doesn't have audio. I forgot to turn my mic back on. So, uh, it's just my sister pointing at this sign on this door. It says, if you're high, goodbye. Uh, yeah, that was funny. Okay, this is the first shot I'm trying to get. I'm gonna film this on my iPhone since I can't film with the camera while I'm recording. But I'll have another angle from that camera. But I just want to show you before and after. And that was the last video I shot. Um, we did walk around for a bit after that and uh, took some pictures. I guess I'll show you them now. But uh, I just really wanted to test like the, the low light capabilities of the camera. I heard it was good, but I didn't know it was this good. Like that shot of the building was at 6400 ISO. And then I, I boosted the ISO a bit. And I don't know, the grain, just, it reminds me of a film camera. Like uh, it's like a soft, like there's no color in the grain either. And I really like how it looked. I'll show you the before and after here. I'll just go through some shots I took. Our internet is actually out right now, so that's a good motivator to want to make this video right now. <laughs> Let me just open Lightroom so I can see what I'm showing you. Cause I'll just input, I'll just put these pictures in later while I'm looking at them. Oh, by the way, uh, let me know what you think of this new camera. I'm really loving this quality. Uh, we're in 4K now. We have autofocus. Let me show you my old camera so we can test autofocus. Yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> and this is not even a Sony lens, so... I have a Sony lens on the way, so I wonder what that's going to be like. But yeah, let me know what you think. Give me a like. If you like it, please. I'm looking at myself on the screen. I, I thought it was awkward last time when I was just staring at the camera the whole time. Okay, so here's the shot of that building. Uh, my grandfather used to live here, my mom's dad, and I've only been here a couple times, like a long time ago when I was younger. But this is the main place I remember from living in Fairbanks or visiting back in the day. Okay, so after that shot, I took a wide angle one too, but I like the 24 millimeter better. Then we went down the street to the left uh, and then I took a picture of this parking garage. I was going to take a lot of long exposures, but it ended up taking too long to set up the tripod and people were staring at us riding by on bikes. Um, yep. I just took it off the tripod and then I started taking pictures without the tripod and then because I knew this camera had image stabilization, so I wanted to test that out. So this was shot at 1/30th of a second and I was shooting with the 24 millimeter. Normally you don't want to go below 125th if you're shooting with a 24, like your focal length. But I was cutting close there, but it came out sharp anyways. So I just liked how the storefront looked. And the way I edited this, it made it look like it was shot with film. Like something about this camera and the lighting and the conditions were, it just reminded me of film. There's the, This is the same parking garage that I took a picture of earlier. And then there's this spiral staircase. I might go in here another day when this is open because I want to go in the middle and shoot up it like it looks like there'll be a good look up shot in there like a, a wide angle so we'll see how that goes and then I saw this front of the building here uh, I thought the light the lamp there it really gave it like a dramatic lighting and I really liked how the light fell in the building and 
like the Lather building sign is just lit up and then it just gets diffused out to the rest of the image and I really liked how this edit came out. Then here I just like how this car was alone in the parking lot, just singled out under the street light. And I got this shot of them too looking through the window of this, uh, I guess it's like a fur store. It's called the Fur Factory I think. Um, I just really like this lighting coming out from the inside and then the lighting over, over top of them. It was like a spotlight up top. And uh, this is one of the really, this is my, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite pictures from the night. Maybe my second favorite, this bar. I don't remember if I told her to go stand under it under the sign in the middle, but I'm glad she did in the center. And I like this street corner. It just looks, I don't know, something about it looks interesting. Like it looks old, like the awning, just the burgundy faded color. I like the way the street light hits the, the scaffolding on the side of the building. And then you can see the shadows coming from the railing. This is my main focus. When we pulled up, I saw this place. This is where we parked the car. Uh, we saw this. It stormed the night before, so there was this huge puddle in front of the building. So I knew what I, I, I knew what I saw in my head. So I wanted to try and see if I can get it with this camera, and it didn't let me down. So, but yeah, my old camera doesn't have a flip screen, so it's kind of hard to take pictures this low to the ground. Like I was two inches off the ground. <laughs> so this is how you can get the narrow horizon line. You just got to get really close to the water, so it's like really flat so you don't have a you're not looking over the water you're looking straight across it if that makes sense this picture right here of this car i saw this car this is one of the last shots i took and i took this shot at first just like to get the exposure right and then i i kneeled down to get the i took like 20 pictures because the camera has this burst mode and i can just keep holding the, the trigger the shutter button and just hope one is not blurry <laughs> But yeah, this one came out crazy. I ended up using this as a cover photo for my Instagram post. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I had a lot of fun with this camera for my first time shooting with it. And looking at the footage, this is my first time looking at the footage from that night too and editing the colors. And they came up and it came out better than I hoped. So. I'm really hoping and looking forward to shoot with this camera more in the future. Um, and I ordered a Sigma 24 to 70 2.8 lens. That, that'll be my first Sony mount lens. And it's a good all around lens that I can use for a lot of things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment and let me know what picture is your favorite. Um, all right, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.